All right, Ashley, thank you. Well, look at this weather. Wow, look at that. It's worse than yesterday. Freezing rain and ice poses a threat to your morning. So do not drive. Texas Today's Meredith Haas has everything you need to know out there. Looking at those road conditions, she's live in Temple with more. Hey, Meredith. Good morning, Jasmine. I just want to note I am right here off of Adams Avenue in Temple, and I'm telling you, I was seeing it get treated just 15 minutes ago, but still there is ice. Why am I seeing people speeding? I don't know. I've seen multiple cars. Our photog pointed it out. We've seen multiple cars go down Adams speeding. I want to remind you there is not only ice, but there is a layer of rain that is puddling up. So not only could you slip and slide, you could hydroplane. I want to show you what your car is going to look like this morning when you head out the door. If you're leaving out of necessity, let's look, look at our, look at our news car. Ice. Look at that. Ice. Rocky, show them down here. Look at these icicles. Look at that. Wow. If you don't understand what's going on, there it is. Ice, rain, everything. Let's see what our officials are saying about today. All right, and let's get to that video. Here's what our officials are saying. Tech pub, Tech dot public information officer Jake Smith encourages those to take their time and make sure to leave enough time to get to your destination if you have to. TxDOT is collaborating with local law enforcement to make sure roads are sanded and safe like we saw before for those who have to drive in these condi conditions and there are um, officials in McLennan County that will be helping people get to uh, warming centers today. Let's hear from them. We're actually even looking at transportation if people can't get out of their homes and can't get on the roads. Um, the fire department and the city wants to be prepared to be able to transport people to uh, warming center. So we're also looking at that. Yeah, warming centers, those are going to be key today, especially for those who may be unhoused or those who might be losing their power. I want to tell everybody I left my house maybe an hour or two ago. I saw my power flicker. So I made sure to take my cat into the <laughs> office so that she could be safe in case my weather went out. Now coming out to me, guys, I want to show everybody. I got this water bottle here. It's been out here for like 30 minutes and it's already starting to freeze. And there's a lot of water in there. So I just want to make sure everybody knows it is not good to get out this morning. It's going to be freezing cold. You're going to have to bundle up. Sadly too, it's not a snow day for the kids. So if they're home from school, you can't send them out to go and have fun because all you got is ice. But as a reminder, just be safe. Don't drive today. And Jasmine, I know you're enjoying that warm studio and doing a great job anchoring. So I'll send it back to you. Okay, thank you, Meredith. And another reminder, you do want to tell people to give themselves more time because when I was coming to work, it took almost 30 minutes for that sheet of ice on my car to start to thaw. So give yourself extra time. Yeah. Get up a little bit earlier. Thank you, Meredith.